Uh, where are we clocking right now for time? I know we are digging deep. Is 51 that, minutes. Oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, you got anything left to, uh, to add? Hmm. Actually, well, since we're on the topic of developers, I, 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 I don't think this will last too long, but I guess it should. It's only fair since I asked if there's any current developers that you like trust wholeheartedly. Uh, I, oh, I guess you already said Banda Namco has had a history. Um, but yeah, is there like a difference you could say between like a developer you trust today versus a developer you would have trusted? Um, what year is it? A decade ago? <laughs> um, so actually, now that we're on the subject, I used to annually get Assassin's Creed. Right. And annually yes. get Call of Duties. Absolutely. Both of those franchises are ruined for me. Yes. Both of them. Me too. And Revelations is where it started to get weird, but not... Revelations was questionable. Yeah, questionable. Um, and then... Three was like, then like, okay, maybe it's cool, but still questionable. Yeah, I mean... They, Four was like, now it's... Okay, th no, wait, maybe, maybe though... It's like better than three, but yeah. I feel like they're losing the shimmer or the yeah, shine. That, something's happening. Yeah. I get, like, some people's favorite Assassin's Creed is four, and I think that's totally cool. Like, I'm not ragging on people who love four. Yeah, it's just that from the from someone who's been there day one... Yeah. It was... It was it was going down, and then same right. with with Call of Duty. I I kept up every single year, and then when I want to put out my sorry before I I'm sorry cutting no, no, you go off. For it, go for it. I want to put out my official stance on the Assassin's Creed. The best story is Assassin's Creed Two. The best combat is Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. The best free running is Assassin's Creed Three, and the best protagonist is Assassin's Creed Four. <laughs> like, see, those shouldn't be separate games. They should. No, <laughs> they should they shouldn't. be squished into one game. But that's that's the way it is. So it's like I feel like it's whatever you're looking for in Assassin. Oh, also the best stealth is. To probably... be fair, we're we're speaking of the uh, traditional. I mean, I, yes. I haven't played any of the new generation, like the no, Odyssey or Odyssey uh, and uh, Origins. I have Origins not played. Both don't so I heard they're good. They have. Discussion. They both yes. have high reviews. Right. But um, I no, see that's the thing style. is those developers have actually ruined those games for me. And Assassin's Creed, the best stealth is Assassin's Creed Three, Tyranny of King Washington DLC. That had the best stealth. That was that was incredible. I really want to play that on the channel. Oh, at some like point. his powers. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That was like Shadow. The closest you can get to Shadow of Mordor was the the DLC for Very Assassin's similar. Creed. Three. It's so worth but, playing. But see, like those games were muddied for me because they kept coming out and the quality yeah. either. Uh, with Call of Duty, it wasn't getting any better. Call of Duty was fun. My experience with Call of Duty is I got Call of Duty One Warfare Two, and I played through the campaign and enjoyed it and thought that was a great game. Right then, then uh, uh, Black Ops came out, and I played it, but I don't know. I think I tried the campaign. I don't think I even finished it. And really, then, Black Ops has a phenomenal campaign. I know, no, no, it does. No, I'm not like I think. I yes, I just don't think I got it around to it for whatever reason. And then yeah, Modern Warfare Three came out, and I never started the campaign. And then that one was yeah yeah and then Black Ops Two came out and I never even played it. I didn't play. What I own the game. I don't think I ever played it. <laughs> yeah, I I have a cop a digital copy of Black Ops Three that was given out for free. Oh, okay. and I was like, yeah, I'll add this to my library. Never booted it. Never played it. Never yeah. installed nothing. And then from so, there, I was like, all right, clearly as this these games aren't for me anymore. Yeah, the quality didn't improve. Right. Um, and so, then after that. I'm glad I stopped getting games because I think the next one was Advanced Warfare. Yeah, and which then was, the was going worst. down. Yeah, Ghost. Ghost was next. Ghost actually. was the worst. Uh, yeah, but it's like the the quality never got better, so I lost faith in them. And then Assassin's Creed, the quality was spiking and dropping like all over yeah. the place, so I gave up with them. But for the most part, a testament to I, the Assassin's Creed games. I at least am aware of every Assassin's Creed game that's come out. I have no clue. There might be gaps in my memory of Call of Duty games. I remember seeing a trailer for one that took place in space or something, and I have no clue which Call of Duty game that might have been. Infinite Warfare. Oh, was it? Yeah, I actually played, because uh, it, <clears throat> it held the Modern Warfare... You had like Warfare a grappling hook and stuff. Yeah, it held okay. the Modern Warfare Remastered Hostage with the Legacy Edition. Yeah. So I was... Gift, I, I was uh, Yeah, someone bought it, never opened it, still sealed, sold it to <laughs> me for $40. Great. Bought it. So I can play the Modern Warfare one since, yeah. uh, you know, that alone was $40. Yeah. So I was like, basically, I get two games right. for the price of one. Please play so, our game. Yeah, I, I ended up playing two missions of Infinite Warfare. And I was like, you know what? This game is not bad. Okay. And that's, that's sad. That, right. Yeah, I was like, if this was called literally anything other than Call of Duty, Actually, this game would have been fine. Yeah, I don't know if I played Infinite Warfare. I might have played Advanced, Advanced Warfare. There's uh, one of the games where the first level you have to get in a turret at some point. You know, Modern Warfare 2 has this pretty early on as well where you just get in a turret and you have to shoot things um and i was playing with my cousin and it's one of my most memorable experiences with the call of duty game is um i i you like play through the first level right and the first level ends you get in this turret and then i was like okay i'm ready for this like you know modern Warfare 2 this is crazy hectic 
scene where you're like going through the streets and there's like people with RPGs and you can like hardly see them and you know it's insane. And then uh, and then he was like, "Don't shoot," and I was like, "What do you mean?" He's like, "Don't fire a single bullet." And I was like, okay. And so we both stood there, didn't fire a single bullet. We made it through the entire... Enemies just missing and yes, running yep, around. Yep, all the turrets. It was I couldn't see a thing. It was at nighttime with like shiny laser bullets because it's that game, whatever. Of course, that's how bullets yeah. work in real and life. Yeah. And we got to the end of the sequence without dying, without shooting a single bullet. I was like, this game's really bad. And we stopped playing. <laughs> that was it. And that was oh, the last time man. I've touched a Call of Duty game. I, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm actually super excited for the new Modern Warfare, the reboot. Yeah, it, it looks it, good. It, it cool. plays good. Everything's good about Except it. Except the melee. There's no campaign, I believe. Oh. I believe they're just like avoiding it. Or was well, that Black Ops? Or was that Black Ops? I, I, I forget know. which one. I'll have to look back into it. I could be wrong on that. Don't quote me. To be fair, don't I don't know. Don't you dare quote me. I don't, I don't, know, <laughs> if Call, I don't know if the mod, the Call of Duty games has made a good campaign since... Um, for me, Black Ops 2. I mean, sorry, Black Ops 1 was Black the Ops pinnacle 1, yeah. of the entire series. And yeah, nothing I think will, that, that's nothing probably the, it. Right. And so, that I, I don't know. I think that's fair. I think the people who are buying Call of Duty games still are not buying them for the story anymore, I hope. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't either, but the story was there to have fun with, and I enjoyed it. Yeah, I don't know. Because you were so much stronger than you were online in the story. Like, yeah. the, the tech they gave you and the, like, amount of, like, even attachments you could have, like, made the game more fun to play. Yes, yeah, but, some of that was, was um, entertaining yeah, just because the way it was set up. You had up. guns and stuff you could never get in the, in the online. Yeah, I'm more of a single person player person anyway. Oh, definitely, same for me. Or co-op. I'm cool with co-op too, but, um, yeah, I'm not very big fan of, like, a multiplayer in the sense of PvP. I'm not a big PvP person, so... Um, I, I never really like follow what the big PvP trends are. Like Overwatch came out, I never played it. Uh, Fortnite's out, I've never played it. Apex Legends out, I never played it. Uh, I don't know what people are playing. There's that game Lawbreakers. Never played Lawbreakers. <laughs> Since we have Halo Two on the screen, I feel like the reason why Halo Two's multiplayer was so legendary is because it was the fun of the campaign in multiplayer. Yeah. Like, both were fun. Where I feel like Call of Duty lost its way in kind of both factors, where the campaign's like, eh, and yeah. the multiplayer's just like, yeah, we're using literally the exact same assets as yeah. last... Yeah, like, I don't I don't know. I'm and not the same assets, but... Because they're realistic guns, they all kind of are the same. <laughs> like, literally, you, you can't just pretend, like, the feet per second ratio no, is any higher. I honestly can't distinguish. Yeah. Except for, like, the AK-47 always has ridiculous recoil for some stupid reason. But... Yeah, I'm sure that's probably, like, a real-world issue. Right, but, yeah. Uh, but no, it's just one of those things where it's like, you know, if I use the commando or the... I'm talking, by the way, again, Modern Warfare 2 is the one that I played. So most of these guns I'm going to be listing are for Modern Warfare 2. But yeah, it's just like, oh, the Ranger was different from the model... 18... 1887? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because uh, because one of them, you have to... One of them has longer range, I think. I don't yeah, know. one of them tickles your feet. One I just... tickles your feet better. <laughs> I saw that the shotguns in the new one seem to have like range. Actually be like shotguns. Like scope. Yeah, <laughs> I hate, I hate. That video game shotgun, the law of video game shotguns is if, if, if the barrel isn't up inside them, yes. <laughs> it's Although I found not out gonna kill. If you're keeping up with the Vanquish playthrough, uh, the shotgun in Vanquish has crazy stun. I didn't realize until the most probably the most recent episode that's gone up. Maybe, maybe it hasn't gone up yet. I don't know. Uh, I start shooting. I shoot like the one of the bigger guys, bigger enemies. The I forget what they're called, but the bigger bigger enemies. They have like missiles on their back. Big anyway, boys. I shoot them with a shotgun and like. He, like, completely stun locks him. I just, like, unload on him with a shotgun, and he can't do anything. Do anything until you're yeah. done. I was like, oh, wow, I, I never used a shotgun before, because I always thought, like, oh, it has no range. Why would I ever use it? But the stun lock is insane. <laughs> Another shameless plug in um, Control, uh, the Shatter, which is the surface weapon in the shotgun mode. Okay. Uh, one of the... Uh, a set of the personal mods you can attach to it are really interesting, because, like, they, they do the whole video game spread shot thing. Yeah. But they also have, like, a correction for it. So okay. um, I was looking through the, uh, like, you know, percentages that it's, like, you know, 25% more damage or, like, okay, whatever. Yeah. And one of it, like, there was a minus, uh, minus, like, 25%. And I was like, wait, what is this one? And it said, uh, it, it just said lower spread. Oh. And I was like, what does that mean? And then it was just like, oh, narrows the, the spread of the shotgun into a more tubular motion. And I was like, that oh. Sounds, yeah. I, I was like, yeah, I guess, yeah. Just, just, yeah. Subtract away all the... Yeah. Yeah. I was like, wow. It's weird that they had to put it that way. I mean, yeah. I, I, I suppose they would have just... Most games just put the whole... reduction? That's an interesting, yeah. Yeah, most games would have just put plus accuracy. Yeah, But no, right. they, they actually... I like the way they did it. They were like, no, this reduces the spread yeah. of the shatter. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and then another mod that just... It doesn't make it any more powerful. It increases the amount of... Uh, 
uh, projectiles in the shot. Okay, yeah. So yeah, it actually did legitimate damage. Right. That like, makes sense. Yeah, one mod would have like plus seven projectiles, where one yeah. the next one would be like plus nine projectiles. And it was only it wasn't <laughs> yeah. like a crazy suit, like plus twenty thousand. Like yeah. it was like two extra projectiles. Like, right. And I and I mean that in the sense of how a shotgun works, that you know, each each, each round is like slug a whatever. bunch of small yeah. circular pellets. shots. Yeah, yeah, pellets. So yeah, just adding two more pellets. And yeah, there was a, a legit like uh, a difference in damage, but it was so minor, but still. I don't know. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you can't you can't see the the, the gestures, but no. they're, they're nice. There's gestures happening. There's gestures happening. Yeah, I'm gonna learn to animate just so I can animate my gestures, just like hands. I wish. I wish we had animation. Sad we point. already do so much, so much in our limited budget. Yeah. The, is there any games that have come out re- other than Control? I can't even think of the last game that's come out that I was like really happy came out. I'm sure um, it won't exist. I just honestly can't think of it right now. You're not playing anything right now that's not for the channel? Like, just on your own fun accord? No. no. I'm actually, for fun <laughs> for fun right now, I'm playing Borderlands 1 by myself, not recording it. I have a second character. I'm playing Mordecai uh, by myself for fun. That's, yeah, the game I'm playing for the channel is the game I'm playing for fun right now. That's That's my life. Literally my life. Yeah, I'm playing Control for fun, but I'm going to do the Platinum and drop a video on it, so I guess... I haven't completed a game in forever either. Oh, that's the thing. I was actually, I, uh, when I was moved away to wherever it is I moved, mm. uh, it didn't hit me that I didn't get into series until like Bulletstorm. What do you mean? Because I was like, look, oh, I was like, I yeah, mean, no, we, we have pretty right. low views on like all of yes. our stuff, of course. And like, maybe one day you guys can help change that. But like, uh, <laughs> it's all up to you guys. I was looking at, some we're too of my, small for it to be up to us. Yeah, some of my other stuff. And I was like, oh, how come this one has like 50 views? And yeah. I looked at it, I was like, oh, well, that one has like almost like several weeks in between the last time I played a game before that. Like, you know, mm, yeah. And it was a completionist video. Oh, and I was okay. like, oh, that's right. I used to like, yeah. Yeah. I used to be all about completing. I like sent Until, a text to you yeah. one time of those like, yeah, you you've like not done any series, and we counted it up. And you're like, oh yeah, you technically have done as many series as yeah, I have. Yeah, even though there's been like several months behind, and now you you've done way more than me. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, I focus mostly on the series. Where so that's the thing. I like didn't realize. I was like, you know what? I honestly I, I forgot that that's kind of what I wanted to do when I first started this was do. Um, I don't know. It, it wasn't just to do a series, but I I. I, I got encapsulated with the whole completionist thing. So that's something I want to kind of dive back into. I've actually completed, what, three games I've gotten the Platinum on and haven't made a video on. Oh, wow. So I I think I've also completed a game, but I've never made one of those videos. So Yeah, yeah it's I've, I've Platinum Spyro 1, um, oh, Resident yeah. Evil 5, actually. But okay. We're doing a series on that, so yeah. you have to wait till the end. Yeah. Uh, and then what was that's the other fun. game? Shoot. I'm gonna have to go look it back up, but I, I I wanted to do Resident Evil Two as well, but I didn't want to do back to back on Resident Evil Two, 2019's Resident Evil Two. Oh, gotcha. And yeah. uh, and then also do Control. Yeah. So, it's really, really bugging me that I cannot, for the life of me, think of the last like brand new game that came out that I was really happy to, to get. Play? Yeah. I I I know for a fact that there's one. I'm like even thinking back as like no, there's definitely a game that I was like really excited to get and. I can't. I can't think of the most recent game I've ever played. Do I want to? Yeah, no, you're or? like looking at the different consoles around your yeah, room. Yeah, I'm like, like what? Do any of these even turn on? Like, <laughs> I uh, it's super bothering I me that I can't think of you. it. I'm just gonna check my Steam account real quick. <laughs> it's gotta be a game. This is like, this is sad. Oh yeah, that's right. This is what we were doing earlier. <laughs> I'd forgotten already. Um. Uh. Oh my God, Pat! I can't. Oh, come on, there's gotta be one. Don't do me like this. All of these games are for the channel. They are. Every game I own is for the channel. I don't think I own any game. Oh, nope. Never mind. Just kidding. I was gonna say Dead Rising, but that was like ancient. <laughs> yeah, that was. That was. That was it a was while new. Back. Oh yeah, Sunset Overdrive was the last game, but that wasn't new. It was. It was. It was ported to the yeah, PC. Yeah, it was ported. That was actually the most. That recent. was new for. You have Prototype Two. Yeah, and Prototype One. Oh. For the channel, we can play it at some point. Uh, I heard these ports are really bad. And Psychonauts. Okay, I've never played Psychonauts. I need to. Psychonauts 2 is coming out soon, question mark? Um, I still can't think of any games now that I'm looking at your list still. It's it's definitely Sunset Overdrive was the most recent. Absolutely. Now that I'm looking yeah, at it. it's not like a new game. Mm, no. Nope. I don't know. So, yeah, I... That's sad. I don't know. I need to get back into that, doing series. That actually and, hurts me. 
Oh, Spider Man! It was Spider Man. It was Spider Man. That was last year. Yes, it was, was Adam. October of 2018. Yes, it was Adam. Oh dear. Yeah, the last game that I was excited for. I should have just checked the channel. Hey guys, look at this. You can go on to Zoinkmeister, youtubecom slash zoinkmeister to see what games I enjoy playing, such as Gravity Rush and Spider Man. Yep. Yeah, Spider Man was like the most recent. <laughs> Uh, wow. It was a lot of fun, though. It took me... Well, okay, to be fair, I beat Spider-Man in, in May 2019. So, I finished it. I mean, that was... I completed it, I That guess. was just a few months ago. I completed Spider-Man. I got a platinum. Yes, that was only a couple months ago. Exactly. Yeah, I so did for it me, in like two weeks. Maybe a week and a half, actually. Ye ye but that's the thing, right? That's what I'm saying is that even though Spider-Man was the last game I was excited for, you're like, that came out last year. It's like, yeah, but I didn't finish it until like a couple months ago. <laughs> like, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. My God. Yeah. What happened to us? I don't know. Captain, that one really bums me out. I, there was, uh, uh, as you can tell, if you look at the upload stuff, there was a read. I, I went away for quite some time. From, or, from like, I want to say May-ish. To, to yeah to whatever that are we was. Are gonna count this one? Because like before that, I mean, I I went to the anime. I posted too. this one. This one was the last one you posted. Oh no, you posted this. Yeah, because I was doing Cuphead. So um, this was June, and this was okay. So yeah, August. June to August, uh, some things happened and major changes in my life. So I actually, I was still playing games, but mm. I just I don't know. Whatever happened wasn't good, and I super duper like lost all motivation to like upload. Cause I I don't know it wasn't just like I don't want to do the channel anymore. It was like I didn't have the energy to like do everything. Yeah. I was like I'm too tired to make a video right now. Yeah. So although I was playing, um, even when you're just playing consistently a game, it's it's not the best thing to like you know. Editing takes time. Oh, it does. Yeah. Oh. Well, <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah, I don't think I've had a single series that I've done in a reasonable amount of time. Uh, the only series that is on this channel that's been done in a reasonable amount of time is Bulletstorm. Uh, and that was a stream. That was a stream. And that was extra hard. You know, you have any idea? So for all you that do stream and like have it as a job, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But like to play a game, because I did that game on the that hardest difficulty. Nine months ago. That was on the hardest difficulty. And yes. I played that entire game. I streamed it. Yeah. So uh, I feel like you partially might have like hindered your experience by doing that. But... Yeah, yeah, probably. But I mean, it's oh man, to make sure that nothing like, th that no one like stray farted in the background. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was like yeah. really hard. Yeah. Oh man, that was, I have, you know, like, no matter what your living situation is, you can't control the sounds around you, like a passing ambulance or something. So it's yeah, like, right. oh man, to nail that down, I was like, I don't know. Streaming is not easy unless. Oh, Call of Four is we finished in a uh, semi reasonable amount of time. It took us like four months, but still. That's not reasonable at all. No, but I mean, it was definitely faster than like, what in the world did I click on? I think oh, Bulletstorm was our fastest. Yeah, the fastest one. And that's because it was a stream. Yeah. Well, because look at like, okay, this is part 19. I'm looking for part 20 of Marvel Spider-Man. Part 19 of Marvel Spider-Man came out in November. Part 20 of Marvel Spider-Man came out in April. Now I don't feel so bad about my series never ending. <laughs> exactly. So that, like, that's what happened. Oh, that's, man. So that's why I don't want, I don't want to do that with, um, fall in order that, that this is the big oh you want to consistently just chunk it out yes. real quick yeah this is this is the big thing i'm trying to avoid with fall in order is it becoming a spider-man where i stop for several months oh shoot well then just do stan it. lee dies <laughs> oh man <laughs> that was the last video that, <laughs> that was the last video that came out before the break is it ends with me saying uh stan lee died stan lee died yeah <laughs> Oh, man. It was a total coincidence, by the way. That wasn't the reason the um, series stopped, but it was funny that that was like, if you were following that series it, for a long period of time, it ended with me saying like Stanley died and the series just dropped. Uh, I, I was just like, I can't do this guys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was like, Oh my goodness. What happened? What happened was the call for series happened. Yeah. And I couldn't, I couldn't do anything else. Cause I was trying to get this uploaded, but uh, it's just funny from the channel's perspective. Oh, this video came out, but that was like pre-recorded stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. How long did Call of Forest take us? Not that long. I mean, like, compared to some of our other stuff, not that long at all. January 12th yeah. to February. Oh, yeah, that's, that's pretty fast. Yeah, it only took us two months. I mean, if you want to think about it, the entirety of the channel's existence, we still haven't finished Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. The the uh that's the remake. True. Yeah. I didn't know that we were still considering it, but yes. What do you mean? It's how many parts is it? 
It's like it's it's thirteen parts. It's thirteen parts. That's yeah. like that is very much a series. I thought you hit like a roadblock though. Oh, huh? oh yeah, we could get past the stupid turtle bridge. Yeah. Did you ever? We did eventually, but we just didn't want to have to deal with too many of those. I think was. The oh problem. yeah, there's only one more stupid turtle bridge in the first game. Honestly, the second and third game are much better than the first one. Right. It's just a matter of yeah. Then we and did then Sonic Adventure. Four episodes of Sonic Adventure. Which that one's not even bad. Oh, I mean, it's like it's bad. It's it's not fun bad. to play. No. But it's not like contrast was put us. on permanent hiatus. Not permanent, indefinite. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to think of the right word. It's on intermission, but hi, it, yeah. It. What is the word meaning? I don't know when it'll come back, but it'll probably come back someday. Uh, I mean, you. Everyone, you've. Every word you used, they're all that. I, I, I feel <laughs> intermittent, I guess so. indefinite. Yeah, right. It, it, development hell. I don't, I don't know what you want to do. Right. It's, yeah, it's that's not... that's where that's where contrast is. Contrast. I want to come back someday, but it'll probably never. Remember Gravity Rush? Remember Gravity Rush? I started that. I started Gravity Rush on May thirtieth, March thirtieth, two thousand eighteen. I finished Gravity Rush on uh this one. I How's finished Gravity Rush. July 24th, 2019. Oh, my word. That series is the longest completed series on the channel at, um, yeah, yeah over, a, over a year. Oh yeah. My goodness. It took, it took over a year to do that series. And I love it. It was one of the most series. It was the most fun series to edit so far on the channel. Um, the most fun series to watch, I think, has been Call of Juarez. And the most fun series to record was probably, no, Call of Juarez was the most fun to record. Gravity Rush was the most fun to edit, and I don't know what my favorite one to watch is. Well, I don't have favorites, but I have least favorites. Cuphead is not fun to record for because lots of deaths are involved. So. <laughs> you know what sucks to record freaking... Well, I don't want to you, get you have You know how it feels to record like 45 minutes of gameplay to get like a minute and a half? You know what the, the worst <laughs> editing nightmare was? Shrek 2. Oh, yeah. That was a I nightmare. That was like it was like a lot of technical issues with that. There was so much. Everything was off consistently, and nothing worked. So and that, the audio was so bad. I think that's the pinnacle of when like our all the editing skills yeah. had to be better because that was like yeah. the benchmark of when things like couldn't... yeah. That's that's where I learned how to edit series, and now we do series completely differently because of um because of that game entirely differently. I want to say like our entire audio budget was like what. At how that much time, was, how much was your mic? Mine was only like eighty dollars. I had a snowball, so it was probably like yeah, fifty or sixty dollars. Yeah, because I had the weaker version of the snowball from you. Yeah, because I got I got a snowball, an extra one on top of a Samsung Meteorite two microphone. Yeah, and like one was like forty, and the other one was like eighty, and like those were the mics I used, and they like. Why doesn't it show a subscriber count? Uh, because you're not logged in, right? No, I yeah. can't. Oh, here it is. 296. Hey, we're almost at 300. Yeah. Good job. Make a video about it later. Maybe maybe some kind of giveaway when we get we'll to 500 or 1,000. I found out something weird about YouTube. Let me see if I can do this. Go ahead. But yeah, like the budget was so small. There wasn't even a budget. Now now I like often, like, I'm like considering buying a second uh, Audio-Technica 875R mic and stand. So that I could just have my own, like, you won't have to bring a mic over. <laughs> like, I already have two mics. Oh, yeah. That'd like, be all nice. the time. I like my microphone, though. So I, don't know I mean, your mic's fantastic, but <laughs> I don't have the budget for that. Yes, That's ridiculous. No. Um, It didn't do it. I don't remember what I looked up before to do it. But um, I looked up something once trying to find, uh, I don't remember what I was trying to find, but it, like, showed videos. I searched in our channel, and it showed videos from, like, other channels. I was like, that's really messed up. Oh, um, under the recommended, right? No, it was here. I like searched right here for a, oh, something. Oh, and that search bar bought you the other people's Yeah, channels? it brought me to like other ch channel videos. And I was like, that's not right. Um, I wish I could remember. It might have been like Doom or something. I don't know. Uh, Doom. Part four. Nope, this is only showing Borderlands for some channels. reasons. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. It happened one time. I don't I don't remember. Don't click on the... I, we're not even the first one. It's like yeah. <laughs> the other channels are first. Yeah, it, um, it, was, it was so crazy. And I, the video I was looking for was like underneath them. I had to like scroll down to the bottom to find the I video it. I was looking for. I love it so much. It was... I hate it. But yeah, long story short, the amount of money sunk into Zoic Meister unintentionally. <laughs> like, I need these. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's so much. It's so much. We need to do more. I need to do more of these. They're... They are literally the moneymakers. Yeah. 
they're popular. It makes me sad. I every every single time I talk to somebody about uh, our our quality that like didn't want to give me a chance before. Yeah. Like, I'll be like, oh yeah, like me and my friend, we do this YouTube channel together, yeah. and it's like our thing. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, man, I'll get around to it. And they'll like come back to be like, I didn't realize you guys like. like yeah. I, I thought it was going to be like McDonald's microphone quality. Like, <laughs> I didn't realize that you guys. I wish. Yeah, you guys were good about Our it. Our old stuff is. If you go back to like. Oh yeah, it's the, definitely McDonald's quality. The, the old stuff. I'm, oh boy. Yeah, if you like listen to one of these videos, I'm sure it sounds like terrible. Um, like I think the famous one is if you listen to like I don't know like one of the Gravity Rush Part Four or something. I think because I had a worse microphone than Adam did. <laughs> so, I want to say. Um, so I know bad. Crash Bandicoot. I want to say episode seven is where. Either episode seven or four, one of those, I, I think it's seven, is where both you and Miguel make your debut. So all three of us oh, is it? are like using yeah. one mic from like far away. Like, Does it? Yeah, this triangle? is it. Triangle. Yeah, it, I don't, I don't, triangle? Triangle? I don't know. Yeah, I don't even know if it sounds that bad, but it's it's not important. It's not, anyway, yeah. <laughs> this is this has probably gone on far too long. Uh, this was supposed to be about developers and games and uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes, uh, the the video game community could be a little excessively harsh for some reason. Yeah. But you know what? I think the good news about um, gamers being particularly harsh uh, is that there it's hard for companies to like scam gamers. I feel like. I wish that's okay. So I don't think that's the issue. I think it's hard to get away with it. Yes. Because EA definitely isn't stopping. Yes. What they're doing with the microtransactions, right. Activision either, but. They are definitely getting flacked about it. I don't know if you heard uh, in the Guinness, uh, I, I believe it's the Guinness World Record book that this, this came out. I could be wrong, right? I mean, a fever dream. Uh, EA got the world record for most downvoted comment ever hey. for their Battlefront 2 fiasco. That's crazy. With the whole, like, we want to give players the most, you know, the best yeah. experience we get. And the only way we can do that is by taking all of your money. Like, right. Yeah, when they were like that, where they were like actually happy. Like yeah. announced that they were putting microtransactions right. in the like, game. Like microtransaction is the future of whatever, having fun. Like it's remember like, that oh. one time that Belgium tried to ban microtransactions? So EA asked all of us to get with our local congressmen yeah, and like write it, to them yeah. trying to defend. Nope. Please like, don't. We, we don't <laughs> like them. We don't like them. We understand that they're a byproduct of development. Like, yeah. yeah. We understand that well, I the educated person who knows game development right. understands that games are extremely expensive. They've never yeah. been more expensive, actually. They've yeah. this is now the more most expensive they've ever been. It's funny to hear. Well, I don't know. I but then on the other hand, I do sometimes think it's funny to listen to like the developer of Uncharted Four. I think was complaining or the like lead, whatever was complaining about like how expensive games are to make. Where it's like I don't know like how much do you think Undertale ta cost to make because that game was super popular. Yeah, super like, popular. I, I'm pretty sure that it was like well, it was like a couple people on that team, right? Or was it a one man project? I can't remember. One man, just Toby yeah, Fox. Just Toby Fox. Then. Oh no 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 no. There's one other person uh, who did some of the artwork. Um, uh, the little cat. If you if you played through the game, it's the it's this one cat that shows up all over the place. Uh, is the avatar for the Tammy or something like that? Yeah, she she does sprite design or whatever. Some of the sprite design, yeah. So some yeah, of like, it's done by Toby even Fox like that. And I mean, you're not you can have fun with games like that. Right. Like Celeste is a fun yeah. platformer that's like minimalist. Yeah. But like at the end of the day, like if you said, oh hey, you can play Undertale or Celeste, and you're like, oh hey. Uh, Respawn Star Wars is sitting right there. Yes. I'd be like, I have to play the Respawn Star yeah. Wars. I want to play the right. Respawn Star Wars, and but I know the that's thing. the one that costs so much yes. more. I know. And yeah, it's right. It, we all, yeah, I don't know. Well, so I've also heard a lot of uh, people saying that um, the, the, you know, it's a common thing that's been going on forever is like, oh, gamers demand innovation and, um, you know, quality design or whatever. Uh, but you look at the games that sell and, you know, Madden and Call of Duty. So, like, even Donkey, I think, made a video kind of recently where it was like, Madden and Call of Duty so better than everything else. It's like, yeah, because the people, like, watching his video about that, the people who are, like, have an issue with that fact aren't the ones buying Madden yeah, and Call of Duty. That's the difference that I, I feel like people don't understand. Right. If you're a hardcore game, and yes, I, I actually do consider myself a hardcore, not... <laughs> there's a there's a difference right. between someone who's right. hardcore and someone who is a pro. Yeah, because a pro play, plays one game yes. very well. They're jocks who just made their sport video games. Yeah, like it's... they're a different kind of person. Like even my cousin is like that kind of gamer. Where like I can like the kind of games he likes is definitely just like sporty sort of games. Where I like kind of get an idea for you know it's like oh he would play. 
just like Minecraft because it's popular or whatever, or Fortnite or whatever. Um, he also hates some of the stupid stuff, but of course, you know, it's just a matter of like, you know, he's he's tasteful, but like it's you know, it's just like a very different person looking at the game where it's like you know, the the pro players are people who could have also played football, but they just they 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 clicked with Smash Brothers. They enjoy, yeah, they enjoy this, but yeah, you know, there's, there's all kind of factors. But when I when I say hardcore. I, I think of someone as the hardcore gamer is the same in any medium. Someone who's willing to branch outside their own medium to have the most like wide, varied experiences. See, I call myself a video game connoisseur, but um, that's just because I like using fancy French words. See, I, I say hardcore <laughs> because I noticed that something I can do that a lot of people like can't do is uh, I'm actually I'm playing Super Metroid right now, right? Okay. Uh, along with Control and Tekken all at the same time. Okay. Um, I could play a really bad NES game Yeah. that for new standards would be really bad. Yeah. But maybe it was like technically good when it came out. Yeah. And I'd be like, oh yeah, I'm still having fun with this. Right. Like I, that's what, the, if you can have a wide, very, I don't know, like your, your canvas is wide in yeah. every direction. You can enjoy a game without throwing your own biases into it. Like even a game I don't like can still be fun and vice yeah. versa. And I feel like that is what, I don't know. I guess hardcore is a bad word because it, it, it kind of implies that hardcore like. Hardcore gamer. Yeah, like there's somehow like a, like a muscular arm somewhere in there. <sighs> yeah, like neck veins that hurt. Gall. Like, I, I, I don't know. But, did you play Mighty Number no. 9? I did. And that was that was bad. That was so bad. Oh, God. Go watch the video. Shameless plug. Uh, <laughs> uh, it, You'll be crying harder than an anime fan on prom night. That was so bad. But I still played it. That's the thing. Yeah. Is that I knew it was bad. I did not. And I still played it. That's uh, the thing. That's why I don't go with hardcore gamer like Adam. I go with video game connoisseur because yeah. I won't play a game if it's bad. Yeah, even <laughs> if a game, I don't give it a chance. Yeah, even like, if a game is not good, screw that. I'll give it a chance because every game isn't bad. Some games are just not good. <laughs> when a game is bad, like I, I think, it's and this is this is controversial, and hopefully it's late enough in the podcast that it can't. No be. one's listening yeah, to this point. Yeah, no one's listening to this point. I think Skyrim is a really bad game. I think that Skyrim is a game that you have to make your own fun in and that sort of requirement can be good or bad depending on the kind of person playing it. See, I think it's a bad game the exact same way that all the other Bethesda games are bad games. I and really don't like Skyrim though. I, I, I think it's weird that it took Fallout 76 <laughs> to finally shed light on all the problems with Bethesda. I really, I blew my... I think it's because the fact that it's, they took a, a buggy game and then they tried throwing a bunch of people into it as oh, like yeah. guess what like, together <laughs> yeah it, guess what you what would happen if you well, couldn't have like, that experience by yourself i kind of get to some degree being able to ignore glitches when you're playing by yourself of course like, sometimes you're just like up but, when, up, up, when but then like you forget because yeah. there's no one there to like tell you but know when your gameplay is based on a consistent yeah when you're like yeah. playing with other people and then a glitch happens you're like you gotta be kidding me yeah. oh my goodness because like control right glitched out on you and like that's annoying but like it is annoying and i'm it's still not gonna taint your yeah, entire I'm, experience i'm fine right? with it because the entire game is lagging on me it's yeah. like oh i'm the whole game slowed down a couple frames as soon right. as we get past that we're good again but if yeah. just you are like right flipping out and maybe the guy next to you isn't and yeah. he just kills you because yeah. he, there's nothing you could have done about that yeah it's a broken game yeah broken games i don't that, that's a bad game a bad game is a broken game some games are not fun Broken games are bad games. So I actually don't like Skyrim. I think it's a bad game. If you want a good Skyrim experience, go play The Witcher. Go play <laughs> sure. a, a Breath of the Wild. Those are good. I mean, Grand Theft Auto. Those are games in the similar yeah. vein that are done well. I, I think, yeah, of those three, probably Witcher's closest. Yeah. But... And, and to be fair, I played on the PS3 version. That is the least stable, the most broken. And I it, it was when it first came out. So I know there was a, a bug where the longer you played uh after a save huh. i think in the first 10 minutes you would get down to like five frames consistently oh my goodness and it was like a major bug that they could not fix because that's it was crazy. too unstable and broken so yeah i i played a <sighs> the worst version of a broken game yeah that's probably but, not yeah, helpful but so i get it no it's i mean yeah a lot of bethesda games are kind of like that where they um drop off in the whole the polish department i guess there's none it's a rock <laughs> yeah it's, it's and not that's a the pol- thing it's just a rock yeah and that's i mean i don't know this this whole thing is supposed to kind of be about developers even though we go off topic all the time but of course it's it's yeah it is one of those things where it's just like today with video games there's a lot of like the expense with it and stuff it i can kind of see sometimes where like oh you released an unpolished game because that would have been a lot more expensive and i was like you know the game can be fun if you can get through some of the you know rough edges but 
Um, it's just a question of whether I or not. Just, I don't know. I, I think the way being open about it, I, I feel like goes a long, a long way. Like um, Retro, no, no, sorry. Nintendo was doing Metroid Prime 4 okay. themselves. Yeah. And they said, hey, uh, I'm sorry. We had a bunch of the game we worked on and it's just not meeting the quality that we want. So we're actually throwing away everything we have and we're high, we're getting. Okay. But Nintendo can do that. Oh boy. Alexa activated or uh, Cortana. Sorry. I... Okay. She didn't activate a second time. Hilarious. But like Nintendo can do stuff like that. Though. Nintendo they have... can do stuff like that. Not everyone can do stuff like that, but I will welcome. Like, I think like another company that can do that is probably like Rockstar. I wouldn't be surprised if Rockstar could like, Oh yeah, they can delay the game. Exactly. Forever. Like yeah. if they wanted to. In fact, they only come out with, like, one game every couple of, like, yeah, exactly. five to six years. Right. And they're, yeah. It's... And they're fine. They're making well enough. Right. And so that, I think that's sort of the thing, is that um, the smaller companies, you know, of course, aren't. But Bethesda's not a small company. Bethesda's not a small company. In fact, the people who pull these, these huge, disgusting things are only the big companies, really. Like, Ubisoft, yes. EA, I mean. I think it's because they, like, over, they, like, hire so many people that. Have you heard? That video games might be the first technology technology industry to unionize. Yes, actually, um, there was a big issue with uh, Red Dead Redemption Two. It had a bunch of people crunching on it. Right. Like, like to the they were getting like hundred hour work weeks. They weren't going home. Right. Like Rockstar put out a tweet that they were happy. They we bought all of our guys pizzas because they're staying over another night, and they said <laughs> it's so happy. And then everyone was like, they're being treated like slaves. Like, what yeah. are you? What, like, what, why are you happy? Yeah. So I'm actually really excited. Uh, the entertainment industry is a weird one. Yeah. Because it's, I mean, I get movies because it's literally like people are living outside of a trailer, outside of a, a studio. Right, but yeah. But like only for like, you know, several months and then right. it's like over. Whereas a game is like, these guys went to school for their profession and, you know, you want a dedicated job with like job security. Right. So it's like weird that such a, you know, specified job doesn't have that union blanket. Well, so the the thing, I guess, to provide the counterpoint for the sake of providing the counterpoint, uh, I think you could potentially be worried about um, any unionized job is sort of like the people in taking the jobs, admitting that they are equal in worth to other people. That's sort of the idea of a union generally is that your time put in is directly proportional to how good you are, not... There's no other measure of how good you are at a job. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I, so I would only be worried that people making video games become people who are experienced, not people who make good games. They do what they do and they leave. Yeah. It's like, do your eight and hit the gate. Right. That's the only thing I'd be worried about is that uh, if, if it unionizes, I would, I would only be worried about a lack of promotion for people who are good at the job and more promotion for people who have been doing the job the longest. See, I mean, I guess, I don't know. You have to, you have to really pick your side on that. We don't I mean, know. We're we, not game developers. Right, too. Exactly. We don't, I, I have absolutely nothing. Well, no, and beyond. Even, even, even if you are a game developer, you know, absolutely better than we do, but it just, it hasn't happened yet. And uh, that could not come to pass. Right. I'm not even, I'm not saying that like, Oh yeah, we're guaranteed to have worse quality games. If the video game industry unionizes, I'm saying that like, for the purpose of providing a counter argument, uh, that it would be the only thing I could possibly think of being um, a potential downside of unionization. Well, I just thought unionization a, uh, if you can't crunch because yeah. your hours are now guaranteed on a slot, yes, your game probably will take longer. Yes, we so, will get delayed. Yeah, we will get delayed. Or instead, counter. Let's not make it as like not as good, but let's. Not not lower the quality, but hey, we had to cut this because right. yeah, the we, game just might be smaller yeah, and less. We, you know. Yeah, I'm sorry that and these games, like I, I feel like in fact that's probably what happened with Kingdom Hearts three. Yeah, it that game has a lot of cinematics and it looks fantastic <laughs> and the gameplay yeah. is cool. The story's a mess, but the gameplay is cool. But that game's like a lot of cutscenes yes. as opposed to like Kingdom Hearts two that has like much more gameplay. Yeah, and I feel like that's and that that how well, it's like eleven year development cycle right for that yeah. game it's like really right. long well yeah and then like to be fair the animation in kingdom art 3 is incredible it's fantastic it's like better than the pixar it's, or the up to par with the pixar it's boys up to par with pixar yeah which is insane i mean like sometimes you can tell that you're like okay this isn't this scene in particular clearly this isn't like they didn't have post time that that you do in a pixar movie but um i don't let it go remade was i don't know it's really close no it's let it go is actually where i noticed like like they even added her breath 
at one point, like she takes a deep breath and like the the way her like chest moves and stuff like that. I was like, Didn't oh my god, have goodness. to add that in. That yeah. sounded creepy. Yeah, I know you made that. I made that creepy made that, that I meant to. But I, and yeah. the way she smells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but, but um, no. I mean, like they added like weird stuff that I didn't think I would notice until they like. I was like, oh shoot, they like I included yeah, that. Yeah, that's that's just fantastic though. And and yeah, the quality is good, but the gameplay in that game it, it's not as long. It's not as long. It's, so I mean, they had eleven years. Well, yeah, they had eleven years, but I mean, usually games that take that long, there's there's not just they're not hardcore developing the entirety of the time. Like it's yes. not going to be this amazing. It, it's it's made a, by Square. It's made by Square. It's a fifty-hour yeah. campaign. Yeah, look how and, many games came out by yeah, Square in like, the last eleven they, years. Yeah, the thing that Square does is they take on these huge projects. Like Final Fantasy fifteen, that game was not done. Yeah. Um. It was actually. I want to say, <laughs> if you've played that game, if you've played Final Fantasy fifteen at launch, like I did, and I platinumed it at launch. So like, don't say that yeah, I didn't really get. I played that game like a lot. Is that, uh, the game, the first half of the game, and it legitimately feels like a half was done very, very, very well. And then you can kind of see the seams. And when they go to Altricia, the, the it's it's like a, a, a Venice, Italy style. Yeah. Yeah, it looks amazing. It's still, to this day, uh, the most fantastic, uh, like, not real location I've ever seen. Yeah. Uh, it just looks outstanding. But the, the, it's like, it, the game starts to pick up really, really fast. It's like, oh, and now we're here. Yeah. And now this is happening. Yeah. And, now, and you could tell that the budget is like, dripping down like everything every chapter is getting shortened narrow uh, dungeon where you have forced to walk yeah, the entire time and, one, and only have oh one weapon God. that doesn't chapter work chapter 13 chapter 13 is where they lost it like they were like okay we have to cut the game like <laughs> absolutely like we're cutting it here hey guys how, how how far into this game are we uh we have like 12 chapters done <laughs> it's releasing tomorrow <laughs> yeah like uh, it's, it's like to the point i think what the final <laughs> we're out of money <laughs> the final one have like 15 chapters or something like that uh well, the game feels yes. like it was intended to have like 25 to 30 yeah, I believe the fifteenth chapter though is like a single boss fight. Yeah, it's like a single boss fight. Fourteenth like, chapter is just like getting to the boss. Walking fight. <laughs> to the boss. Yeah. yeah. So uh, it's it's the seams literally tear apart, and you could tell that they wanted to keep the original ending too because there's like a whole bunch of stuff that you're like, wait, what? What do you, right. what do you mean? And this now is everything like, works out. Yeah, <laughs> this is missing, or like what's happening here? And then they ended up doing the post DLC the launches later, and yeah. actually they run at they they Square Enix reported a, a huge market loss, and that they're cutting the future remaining DLC. Oh shoot! How many or, were there? Uh, I think there's supposed to be like five. Okay. Or something like that. How and many did they do? I think three. Two. Oh, three. Okay. Or uh, I think two and a half. I I, don't, I really don't remember because they gotcha. did that weird Assassin's Creed one, and then the weird one where they added Half Life assets. Yeah. Weird updates that I don't know. Anyways, um, they they straight up said, "Hey, we 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 did a huge. We lost a lot, like a lot, a lot. We did yeah. not do good this year, and we cannot afford to get the DLC out. Uh, there's no way we can do this with Kingdom Hearts coming. That's crazy. So we're cutting yeah. it." And like I'm like, you know, that's fine. Yeah. I'm I'm straight up. You guys are open about it. I I'm not gonna be a guy who's mad that you don't. That you're not economically rich. Right. Some game came out. Uh, the DLC came out. Like, oh, maybe no, it wasn't Kingdom Hearts. There was some game. It was, I thought it was funny. The DLC came out like a year later, and uh, it was like <laughs> I was like I thought we'd moved on from that game. I'm sure I remember <laughs> what the game was now. It was like kind of recent. I remember it was like DLC is coming out for this game. I was like, they're still working on that game. Like, <laughs> what were okay. they doing? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I thought that was that was funny. But what are you doing all this time? Unfortunate news. I've heard about. Um, I was looking into Grodirish three because I care, and uh, I think so. That... You weren't looking into anything, now, were you? <laughs> yeah, the developer officially like had an official statement that where he said, um, he's you know people asked him like, so can Grodirish three exist? Question mark. And I think he. He like officially said that uh, the only chance Gravity Rush Three has of coming out will be the next gen systems. So PlayStation Five, he'll ask. <laughs> like, that's yeah. Like that's what he said, and I was like, I get that. Like I, I I don't think that guy is not obsessed with money enough to get games pushed. <laughs> I that, think that, is the problem. The, the thing with that game is it suffers from something that it's I I, I don't know. What do you do with those? Those games that you'd think if you played them, you're wondering why this doesn't have more attention. Yeah. But no one else seems to know what it is. And I'm afraid that goes into the, it won't matter now, but years down the line, we're right. going to put it in the quote unquote cult classics genre. Yeah. yeah. Like like Earthbound, right? Everyone won't. 
yeah. why won't we have why won't Nintendo give us Mother 3 yeah, and I'm like yeah. because 10% of all Nintendo fans know anything about Mother right like it, why would they do Mother 3 that's like right. a huge commitment for I, I, I promise you, you you keep there's this meme Mother 3 I, I'm sure there's not as many people who right. well it. like Bangayo I think we just learned Bangayo. is a cult classic probably yeah it's a cult classic oh my god I get a Dreamcast version of the game it's like 150 bucks how do I find these <laughs> <laughs> It's like we we played like Gunslingers. Like, wait, this game like got good? What? And then yeah. it was like we like Van Gaio was just like a random like. Oh yeah, I, I know a dumb Gundam yeah, game. Van Gaio like, is especially interesting. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. The first game's on Dreamcast. The second game's on DS. And this third game third game is a 360 arcade exclusive. Yes. Well, I think they expected the uh, returning audience only. Yes, I think I think that's what happened. I think that they were like, no one's gonna buy Van Gaio unless they play the other Van Gaio games. Like. That's just that's See, just their the mistake reality. was not sticking with with a mobile platform. I'm sure if they threw that yes. on the Vita, that would yeah. have been a pretty good sale. That uh, would have been a crazy yeah. Vita game. Although the a... Vita did poorly, but what as far as Vita I mean, games so go, did, a Dreamcast did poorly. Right. DS did great, but DS did great. I'm sure. I don't no know how many people bought it. it. Yeah, I was yeah. like, I'd... it's also a bullet hell, which is like sorry, it's sorry, like... no, 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 it is a missile circus. It is, but it's like it's it's, its own genre in that sort of like it's own audience genre defining yeah it's just like you know one of those things where like not everyone plays those kinds of games absolutely right that's that's definitely like a niche community to begin with yeah it's definitely one of the like one of those like oh this is an arcade game but it's not yeah it's like just fun it's not it's like something how would you ever find this if you weren't looking for specifically it right yeah how How did you find this (laughs) how did you find these that's a good question. I honestly don't know how I found Van Gaio specifically. Uh, I have a lot of demos, uh, so it's hard to tell where I found any one of them in particular. I'm really sad because I usually like to pick up at least one version of a game when it's like really rare like that. And if it's really expensive to pick up the U.S., I'll go for the Japanese version. But the Japanese version costs like seventy dollars. Yeah, that's yeah, that's so crazy. that means yeah, that must be a very low print game. Yeah, I imagine it. I don't think it was super popular. Well, because it was even on a console that wasn't very popular. And just, yeah. I don't think it had very many things going yeah. for it, unfortunately. Yeah. But yeah, I think that's sort of my, like, my, my. You come to the Zoinkmeister channel for uh, cult classics that no one else will talk about, like Darkness 2 and Gravity Rush and Madness Returns and Gunslinger and Ben Dio. And... I know. Is it weird that whenever, I mean, I we can still hang with the big boys at the table in terms of, like, the trending stuff, but I think it's I really good. I want to play Psychonauts on the on the channel just just for the consistency of having those cult classic Adia games cult classics i will not play earthbound on this that games are i i know a game shrek 2 like, even shrek 2 is even like kind of popular oh i know uh harley says we should play uh uh harry potter 2 what's it called also uh king kong percy jackson's king kong because it was like a launch title for the 360 and i get it's like a honestly it's a really good resident evil game <laughs> oh, okay is yeah. that the game that you played one off like forever ago yeah or? one off okay. forever ago and i was like oh that's yeah and then he was telling me it's a cold classic i was like it's not a oh, cold wow. classic. whoa and i looked it up and it's a cold classic that's crazy yeah i, I yeah. that sort of stuff's crazy but that's that's what you come here for yeah. that's what's like my quality for. quality back at the barnyard quality on i i like barnyards Barnyards are a good thing for me. I'm sorry if barnyards aren't associated with happiness for you. Barnyard. I, no, I'm just going to let you have this one. <laughs> I, I, Patrick, don't leave. <laughs> <laughs> I need you. <laughs> no, this is all you. Oh, man. I, I There was a Nickelodeon show called Back at the Barnyard, which is based on the Nickelodeon movie the barnyard uh starring a uh woman cow who was a male cow named otis and his buddies and uh they have absolutely nothing to do with our channel but it's actually the thumbnail for fighter destiny 2 on the n64 that i did a video on yeah i brought it back to zoink meister there we go oh my god i All brought right. it back there i think we that's go. a good, i think that's a good place that, to... that is definitely a good place for us to to, to, to zoink off i don't know how much of this is going to survive the cutting room floor but um you could it's... just cut it in half and do a part one part two i don't know that's true. We haven't even released the previous broadcast that's been recorded. This would be the best part if, like, we found out you hadn't hit the record button when we started. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this is going to be a massive file. It's going to suck. Oh, I know. So, I don't even remember what, the, what was the previous podcast about. I, I don't know. You have it. I have it. I was naughty. I, d- <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't do it. I don't know what this is going to happen. But anyway, um, do you want to just 
just send us off with yeah i'm gonna go ahead and send us off thanks for for if if you listen for this long i we really do appreciate it as always you've been great remember to like and subscribe if you liked it and then drop a comment down below on anything there was so much reviewed in this oh i hit my microphone cord there was so much reviewed in this that i'm sure that if you're already here uh because i'm, I'm sure you're looking for stuff less trendy that you should have something to comment in. Like, I'm yeah. sure there should be something you can comment on. We talked about so much that if you have nothing to say, which even if you finish this video, that is comment worthy because who knows what this is going to look like. I know. I want to see if you finish this video and you're not us, yeah. comment down like first to finish video, like in the comments below. I might even, I'll probably be the first person to finish this video. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Well, thanks. <laughs> Bye.